And now, please welcome the very funny Hatchie Hayridge. <laughs> Howdy, partners. <laughs> so I'd really like to go to Disneyland this year. You know, the nice bits, not the touristy bits. <laughs> the statistics show that you're still safer in a plane than you are in your own bath. Well, I've never been sucked out of my bath. <laughs> I'm not here to talk about that, I suppose. <laughs> standing at home the other day and for no reason my sink cracked in half and the insurance wouldn't give me any money they said it was act of god we well, hasn't god got anything better to do then go around <laughs> smashing up sinks oh, i shouldn't mock really there's a lot of people nowadays all looking for god i think they all had the same crap insurance policy that i had <laughs> mm. i once had a terrible experience with drugs my head got totally screwed up. My hairdresser was a junkie. <laughs> I was under the dryer. He was on the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> I went and consulted one of them phrenologists. You know, they can tell your personality just by feeling the bumps on your head. Told me I was accident prone. <laughs> Like we're cooking, you know, I can burn other people's toast just by phoning them up at three in the morning. <laughs> I was an only child. Still am. <laughs> I was so lonely, I invented six imaginary brothers and sisters. Hated them. <laughs> My parents were married 20 years before they had me. They used to have a cocker spaniel. <laughs> Took them a while to adjust. <laughs> I used to try and tie my ears together when they fed me. <laughs> Happy days, though. <laughs> Crawling through the forest with a branch in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just men I don't understand. There's Japanese. <laughs> I started to learn it. I mean, I think it's important to read great literature in its original language like how to change the cartridge on my stereo. <laughs> I used to work in a department store in ladies' clothing. Well, it's less conspicuous like that, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> this woman came in once. She spent all day in there trying everything on. Told me she wanted something to bring out her baby blue eyes. I gave her a couple of meat skewers. <laughs> I live in a rough area. Well, the other week, there was a bank robbery round my way. The week after, police reconstructed the crime. They ran in, shot two security men, and made <laughs> off half a million pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they've invented this alarm clock now that wakes you up by talking to you. It says, it's time to get up now. Then after 15 minutes, it says, you're going to be late. I think it'd be good. If after an hour, it phoned your boss and told him you're going to have the day off sick. 